Check it out. It's cold. That's a lot of snow. Not something new, though. It's always cool here. It's weird. Oh my goodness. Did you forget what snow was like? Yeah, I forgot what snow was like. No, I didn't. <gasps> oh, oh, it's on now. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can love. Ah. I can make angels in the snow. Conditions are perfectly cold. And so come on already, truth be told. It's really oh. too much to be asking for. Peoples, hope you guys are doing wonderful. Did you see the snow? Did you see the snow this morning? Don't know if it's gonna stay or not. So it's like here, but like not really here, but like ugh, it's still kind of cold. I don't know how much it's actually gonna go away. I really wanted to mow the lawn one more time. I still think it's a little stinking long. Anyway, the snow that's like when it first comes, it's like a sticky snow, whereas throughout the rest of the year, we don't really get that sticky snow. It's a very dry snow and just kind of falls apart. Welcome to 101 Snow, like you wanted to know that. Anyway, fun day planned for today. I'm actually getting ready to head out the door. We're finishing up school right now, and I'm getting ready to head out the door to go have lunch with some girlfriends. Um, one of my friends is leaving, my running buddy, the lady I ran with uh, for our half marathon, and I've done actually quite a few races with her. I'm actually gonna leave, they're moving. Very sad, very, very sad. I'll have a, like a little fun going away lunch. She's actually supposed to be in my photo my photo shoot uh, deal for Alaskan Apparel and um, she ended up getting sick. So I'm gonna take her um, one of our little pink hoodies cause she's, she loves pink. Pink is I think her favorite color. And then like a fun little scarf. And she can just take it with her. A little piece of Alaska. My babe later on today is gonna take you all to the shop and give you an update on what is all that looking like. It's huge. It is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go over a few of the Alaskan apparel-y things today. Coming launch this coming Saturday. Ha! 10 a.m. Alaska Skater time. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> we still haven't moved into the shop yet. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. And to top it all off, we have a huge surprise. Huge, awesome. I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Oh, I took it off when I did lotion. Oh, I feel naked. Do you guys feel that way? Do you feel naked when you don't wear your rings? I don't feel right. That did not feel right. We have a huge surprise tonight. Kids kind of maybe have an inkling. Not 100%, but... Told you this would happen. I told you this would happen. See if you can guess. Can you guess? Can you guess what's gonna happen? Okay, anyway, I'm jazzed up. So I'm gonna finish up just a little bit more of the kiddos and then head that way to go get some Thai food with some girlfriends. It's here. <laughs> Is it here to stay? Oh, I don't know. Actually, quite a bit's melted. Check that out. This is September, guys. Comment down below. Let me know. Outside of Alaska, anywhere else in the world, do you have snow this early? Like, if you look out your window, do you see snow? Maybe someone in Canada? Do you guys have some snow outside? We knew it was coming. We knew it was going to come. At least it's not super cold. I mean, it's like 35 degrees or so Fahrenheit right now. So that's a plus, right? Got to look at all these things. I hope you guys are doing great. Lots of stuff going on today. And of course, it starts with snow. Maybe it's because I used that snow word a few vlogs ago. Maybe that's why it came so early. We've had times where we don't have snow till like November. But usually it's somewhere around mid-October. But, you know, yeah, the kids are having fun with it. But we've got so much going on today. I think my wife probably filled you in a little bit. We've got a surprise visitor coming. You could probably guess, but maybe you can't. Not sure. Uh, also, lots of stuff with Alaskan apparel happening. 
and logistics of trying to make all this work. So I wanna go bring you guys to the shop and uh, show you guys like some of the progress that's been happening. We'll bring you there, show you what's going on. And again, hope you guys are doing awesome and wonderful and you're staying warm because yeah, <laughs> it's coming. Let's go ahead to the shop, give you guys an update and again, hope you guys are doing great. Okay, quick update here. We actually just got to gym. Lunch went great, it was bittersweet. Wow, look at these shadows. It was bittersweet you know, saying bye to a friend, but I'm super excited for her. She's she's very excited for this new chapter of her life. So lunch was great. I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna go inside. Let's turn off the car, turn off the lights. Do you ever feel like you're running Mach 75 and you just feel like you, you forget your head if it wasn't attached? <laughs> That's me. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go in, watch some gym. She's really doing great, guys. I know we haven't talked much about her gymnastics stuff that's been going on, but she's doing so amazing. She's getting ready to compete. Her first meet is, I think, like the middle of November, like beginning to mid of November. She's gonna get her Leo. She's got warm-up pants, a little backpack. Um, she's doing so great at her skills. She's memorized all of her routines, her floor bar beam routine. She's doing great. She's doing really, really good. I'll be at this cartwheel-a-thon. I asked different people um, to sponsor her. I was able to get quite a few little donations here and there, family. We mostly did family. She did great. She did, leave a comment down below. How many cartwheels did Evelyn do? How many cartwheels do you think that she did in 10 minutes? Have her tell you when she gets home. Pretty impressive. I was pretty surprised she was able to get this many cartwheels done. So anyway, let's go in there, watch some gym, go have a good time, and then I'll probably see you guys back home. Awesome stuff. We've got some things rolling. Things are getting close. I'll give you a tour in just a second. But when I was driving over here, I started reminiscing. It's it's so fascinating. And maybe you guys are this way. Let me know down below how a lot of the good experiences I think you have when you're younger. How a lot of like the things that maybe your parents did, or maybe uh, some people that were influential to you when you were younger. How much that has influenced at least me uh, at this age. Like for example. Like the kids, they, they're going to help us fill orders. They're a huge help. And if you've been around our family long enough, you know that pretty much everything we do, whether it's cooking or working or teaching or homeschool, we try to just incorporate the family. It's all about the family. And even, even with you guys, we want you guys to feel like part of our family. That was a lot of what I had growing up. Like I, I actually, my first job was working for my parents. And, you know, I don't call them a real job because it's your parents, right? But, but that, was, that was kind of my first way of making money with my parents, and I'm doing that with my kids. I was homeschooled uh, pretty much my whole life except kindergarten and first grade, and my kids now are homeschooled. <laughs> they even use a similar uh, style teaching. I don't know, it's fascinating. I started just thinking about a lot of the similarities. Uh, do you guys do that? Do you ever t uh, take a second and just think back to your parents or someone influential in your life and then how things that you know, that you really liked all of a sudden magically appeared in your life almost without thinking about it just because it seemed normal. I was thinking about that on the way over here. All right, let me show you guys what's going on here. We've got some staining all done here. This is all finished a product. Not too bad for the carport. Barely got that in. Let me show you, I've got a little keypad here. Let me show you the latest. How much has been happening here the last few days? So like they started by blowing insulation in uh, to the attic. Now normally, we're up here in Alaska at least, I'm not sure about the codes in other parts of the country, like your minimum R value for insulation is R38. Uh, so we put in an R60 here. Started on the mud and the tape, which is where we're at right now. Of course the drywall's finished as far as hanging it. So they've been working for a while getting this all wrapped up and it is looking fan Fantastic. So we are going to uh, do like the finished uh, sanding and there'll be some uh, texture. Of course we have garage doors here, which I think my wife wants to paint the garage doors. They're actually black on the outside, but they're white on the inside. But we'll see how she likes those. So right now, this is our, this is our dilemma, right? It starts off where my wife starts picking out like, hey, let's just like all get the matching clothes for Easter. 
Uh, and next thing you know, she's in charge of like church decorating. And next thing you know, she like starts designing custom things uh, for gifts for people. And then all of a sudden she gets into clothing and here we are. <laughs> I used to tease her about all this stuff, but now uh, she's actually like able to like make neat things that you guys actually like, which is pretty cool. Dilemma, you guys, you guys know the drill. A lot of times we'll do our Alaskan apparel launch. We'll sell out sometimes in minutes, sometimes in hours. Uh, and so we ordered extra again. Hopefully it'll be enough. But we ordered extra so much that we can't even really fill it in our garage. I have to do it in here. But the problem is that we're not done. See? So all this stuff is going to come out tomorrow. Clean the whole thing out, this paper. We're going to take all this paper out. We're going to put some new paper down so it's a nice, clean atmosphere. We'll have the temporary heater still here, though. Um, just so we can be able to fulfill orders and so we can do all the final counting all these things But it is coming along really fast. So once we pull this out, we'll put, be putting tables Product in here making all this work come together and then once we're done uh, Anything that's left over if there is anything left over all has to come out And then we're gonna have to finish the texture painting lighting all these things to try to move us forward on this whole process So anyway, I just want to give you guys a bit of an update that's what's going on here. There's a few other neat touches my wife wants to do. Uh, some aesthetics that maybe we'll show you as we get a little bit closer. But this is a huge step. Huge step and I wish that we've been able to make this happen. Like if we were like a week or so, if we had another week, we could be kind of done with the painting, but it's okay. One step at a time, it's growing pains, right? You back home. Actually, let me just send you somewhere. I'm gonna send you somewhere. I have no idea where I'm sending you. But I'm gonna head back home and uh, try to prepare and help my wife out for the guest that is coming. Okay, I'll send you to somewhere. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shining every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 la. My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. You'll never feel alone as long as you're with me. pick up a special guest at the airport so whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so fun fact we're twinning today wow twinning. look at that I told them that you were involved in a cartwheel a thon yeah. and you were gonna let them know how many cartwheels you did can you tell can you tell them how many you did I please <laughs> 314 cartwheels in 10 minutes. 314 cartwheels in 10 minutes. Nailing it. Woo! Okay, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go, man. Let's load it up. Okay, let's go. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Excited. You know I said that I'm talking very quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> we do some of my up-and-coming launches or like especially like our first launch out of the shop. I wanted my mom here for it, so I was like, I'm gonna fly my mom here. Come on, mom, you gotta be a part of it. <laughs> it's stinking cool. Um, 
I am working on a lot of different things. This is when I really burn the midnight oil. I think everything's situated and all the things, but I had told you earlier today that I, I um, wanted to go over a little bit watching this go around and um, kind of go over some of the details and stuff. But for those of you who are not interested in that, I don't want to put it on the vlog and have it just be me talking about things that you aren't interested in. So what I'm gonna do is if you are interested in all the products that are in our up and coming launch, sizing, different detailing, things like that, I'm going to create an IGTV over on my Alaskan Apparel Instagram. It might even go to my Alaskan Apparel um, Facebook page. So you can follow me on both of those. I'm not sure, I've never really uploaded a long IGTV on my Alaskan Apparel page at all. So this will be a new one. Interested in learning about all the details and stuff like that? Head on over there. I'll put a link down in the description and um, you can go and I will talk to you guys and show you all the fun details and things that are coming up for up and coming launch. We're in call tonight. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna try to finish as quickly as possible. It's two o'clock in the morning right now. Noticing the bags under the eyes. Tomorrow should be a good day. I've got tons to do, lots of running around. Mom's gonna be here. We're gonna be dual tasking all the things. It's gonna be a good time. So thank you guys so much for coming along with this. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. For snow, kids and grown ups alike. I don't want to be riding my bike this time tomorrow.